not one to get on them in a loud manner very often. <clears throat> but has that happened? Have you have you been found yourself in that situation over the last couple of weeks where you've gotten on um, more than you normally would? No. Uh, you know, a little bit, a couple of times over the last three weeks, a little bit sharper with them, but uh, but I haven't lost my mind. Uh, you, know, I, you know, that usually happens two or three times a year, um, depending on the team. You know, there's been some teams where it's been 10 or 12 times, and I felt great about it. And there's been some teams where it's been zero, and it's been the right, you know, so a little bit depends on, on the guys and the team. Uh, but yeah, certainly been a little sharper in a couple, couple different spots uh, with practice, but I haven't gone... Yeah, I haven't gone crazy. Jake, with, with ben, we've talked about this before. Does part of some of the control with foul trouble? Because I think that got him in a little bit of an issue on Saturday. Yeah, I think the the most important thing, Sally, for for Bennett is uh, you know playing and uh, being able to to uh, to play without picking up a a cheap foul. Because uh, you're going to get, I mean, you you play those minutes and you play the position he does, you're going to get a foul. Uh, you know, in the first half, you don't want to get the one that you can uh, that you can avoid. You know, an offensive foul. Uh, you know, and that usually seems to be the one for Bennett, whether it's a moving screen or posting up and you know, you know doing something that way. And the, the best way to, to get past that is to play. And uh, so we've got to uh, you know just uh, we've got to find some ways to uh, to keep them on the floor. I think so. They between not being in foul trouble as much and and then also from a coaching standpoint just leaving him on the floor you know and letting him learn and letting him gain experience through being on the being on the playing floor. Uh, how are things from a health standpoint working out with Bang up uh, uh, this past Saturday and Clint had some issues after the race? Yeah you know Clint's has, has been going on longer than what uh, than what we thought um, yeah, I'm really hoping that that one goes away. You know, there's times where it feels better than others, and it's a lower leg injury or, or kind of mid leg, I guess, around his knee, uh, that area. Uh, and there seems like some days it just it feels better than others. Uh, and you could see him even on Saturday, the way he was running, he was kind of dragging that leg. And it, it uh, uh, in talking with our trainer, it just it's one that could be great tomorrow and be over with, or it could linger on for a little bit still. So hopefully he's he's better. Uh, and then Jeremy was, uh, you know, he was fine this morning. He said it's a little bit better, a little sore still, but a little bit better uh, than what it was when he got uh, after the game on Saturday. So, uh, yeah, hoping that we that we escaped one there because that, that could have been a that could have been an injury somewhere the way he fell. But so far we've escaped that. Is this a good time to play which tower or bad? Hmm. That that would uh, that question would insinuate that there is a good time <laughs> if I'm thinking about that correctly uh, I, I, I think I know what you're asking Sully and I, I uh, sometimes it's sometimes it's good to be uh, to be playing against the, the best there is to offer whether that's in your league or you know in Wichita's case what they've done you know in our league and nationally uh, sometimes it's best to have to push all the chips to the middle of the table and Wichita forces you to do that so uh, uh, from that standpoint, I would tell you, I would tell you yes. Obviously, you've got a lot of challenges, so um, you know it, uh, those are things that we'll get ready for. Uh, but uh, yeah, like I said, we'll uh, two good days of practice, and guys will uh, look forward to taking the court you know, Wednesday night.